what's up what's up it's your girl neek and you're tuned in to neek at night and tonight i have a special guest with me a brick wall because sometimes people allege that they're hit by a brick and then sometimes their actions lead them into certain situations now i'm gonna give you guys a refresher on my previous reporting of this situation because now miss brick mama is saying that she want to sue the kid okay she's saying she want to sue me because i reported on her new allegation that i'm gonna get to in a little bit but two black women in their 40s decided to attack me as i was leaving the establishment and she felt some type of way about it. But before we get into the new allegation, let's bring you guys up to speed on the old allegation, okay? So she first came on the internet because she said that a man hit her with a brick because she refused to give him her number. But then there was a video that surfaced of her confronting people outside of on the actual night that this supposed to have happened. And in this video, she said that a guy picked up a rock. But then when she was at the hospital, she said it was a brick. But I pointed out in my previous coverage how all of the people that she was confronting about standing by and watching this go down, how they were pretty much saying that they had no idea what she was talking about. They were not there. They did not witness her getting hit with a brick. Let me replay this real quick for you guys, and then we're gonna get into the new stuff. And just hit me in my face with a brick, and all these black men just watch, and brick. they don't give a fuck. What the brick is? Yeah, this man, is. this man hit me, fucking with, grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my fucking face, because I would've given him my number. What about the brick and is? all y'all just fucking watch. What you y'all see that What you want see that what y'all what y'all do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. All right. So as you see there, if you listen to the background, and this is what I pointed out in a previous video, the guys who she's confronting, they're asking her like, "What kind of brick? Like, what about a brick?" Because they were confused. They weren't there, so they're asking her, "What do you want us to do about it?" Because they're they clearly were not there to witness this. And then you also hear a woman in the background say clearly, she's like, we wasn't here. Like, cause so everybody in the background, if you listen to the background, everybody in the background is confused about what she's talking about because they did not witness this brick situation. And just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. And they don't give a f what the brick is. Yeah, this man, this man hit me, fucking with, grabbed a rock, and it hit me in my fucking face because I would have given him my number. What about the brick and is? all y'all just fucking watch. What you want? See that? A lot of people seem to not have witnessed this alleged assault that she said happened. There were people who called the police um, department to try to get a description of the suspect, and she never gave one. It was just a whole lot of BS with it. So after there was a lot of talk that there was no identification of a suspect, she then out the blue came up with this Olin Fitzgerald guy. So she said that it was him and people started posting his pictures all around. And then he even did an interview on Clubhouse. Now on his interview that he did on Clubhouse, a lot of people start going around saying that he admitted to hitting her in the face with the brick. But if you go to Clubhouse yourself, because a lot of people, they hear somebody say something and then they just repeat it without hearing for themselves. But if you go to the actual Clubhouse on your own, he actually denies hitting her with the brick. You say he outed himself. Well, I got the same audio from the clubhouse that you have or everybody else is hearing. And not one time did he out himself. But do you know who this person right here is? Do you actually know who this person is? Huh? Well, let's listen to the audio first to see if he actually outed himself or if he denied doing that. Yo, boss, this is not how, uh, this is not how, 
I would never negotiate. My, I'm not sitting on. No, it, it's, it's not a negotiation. No, we're not negotiating. No, no, I'm, no. I'm saying I'm. I don't. That, who? What, who does shit like that? This is something like this is a viral thing. Why would I sit on here? And, and then number one, it just don't. It wouldn't make sense for me. Um, I'm just interested about the information that you share with me, and I'm interested of in everyone else's opinion. So that's it. So wait a minute. How did anybody know that you were the man from the viral video that okay, he told him to break over? Hold on. I just I just explained that. I explained that before. But does anybody have any other questions aside from that one? Yeah. Uh, how? How? Because it, yeah. it seems that Mike, um, from what I'm hearing, and correct me if I'm wrong, like you seem to be like confident that she did not get hit with a brick by anybody, right? Now we, we right. established yeah. that you didn't do it, obviously, but like. What makes you rule out the possibility? Maybe somebody else did, and, and we need to go find that corporate. Yo, OTH, before you, before you even answer that, I want to pin this to the, to the top, right? And this, this is me being curious, right? Reading this article, right? Because you say you stay in Houston, right? Yep, 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 yep. So, so this is from Fox 35, right? Orlando. Woman hit in the face with a brick in Houston says man attacked her for not giving him her number. Right? You say you stay in Houston. Now, me with my logical mind, right? The day the day that that lady gave me your name, right? I ain't know. If, I don't know if you lived in Houston or not. Right, 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 right. So, so you're not, like, I, I get what you're saying. No, so no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me, let me, hold, let me finish, bro. Hold on, let me finish. Those the same. I'm not pinning you to the. I'm not pinning you to that. I'm just saying that the fact that you live in Houston, it happened in Houston, and then she mentioned your name of all people to mention in the world. Or people that live in Texas, bro. Texas is a big ass state, bro. So I, I, everybody in Houston is mad black men in Houston. You wow. of people, and I'm trying to figure out like, am I in a twilight zone? Is there a paradox? Something is missing here. I don't know what it is, but something is missing. I don't know. I feel like we're not getting the whole thing. I would agree, but um, I can't speak more about that. But no, nah, I mean you, you. Uh, I, I agree with you. It sounds you're not getting the whole thing. So if you swung the brick, would you plead the fifth? <laughs> I've never hit nobody with no brick, boss. You sound crazy. All right, so you see that. I just had to input that because, you know, if somebody going to be in the comments like, he said that he did it, well, um, that's not what I heard. And as of right now, there has been no arrest and no official suspects still, according to what I've seen on the Internet. Okay. And I even detailed and I talked to you guys about all of the other times that she got into interactions with black people okay this black woman would always talk about how this black person did this to me this black person did that to me and how she would always talk about how all of these black people did stuff to her and how she had all of these encounters with assault and people just harming her and all this stuff so let me pull that up they mad because he's trying to be somebody i'm trying to be a doctor and they mad look what they did to me look what they did to me for no reason they don't beat me up i'm 30 years old they gonna beat me up grown ass niggas try to beat me up grown ass niggas try to beat me up for no reason look at me i'm not a bad person y'all know that y'all know i'm a good person <laughs> and they try to do this to me guess what it's up and down for a real nigga but you gonna be a pussy you grew up and they mad because you trying to fucking be somebody. They mad because you trying to be somebody. I'm trying to be a doctor and they mad. Look what they did to me. Look what they did to me for no reason. They gonna beat me up. I'm 30 years old, they gonna beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up. So she goes here and she says that these grown men tried to beat her up. This was in 2020. Then fast forward to 2022, I really feel like I have been cursed recently. List of injuries in the last month. I got attacked and maced by men. I fell down an escalator, injured my back and couldn't walk for days. My toenail popped off, excruciating pain. My tooth was chipped. 
My bank account was hacked. My friend of 12 years betrayed and discarded me. I lost a fellowship I know I deserved. Precious items were stolen during a move. Death threats. Although this is consistent, diagnosed with prediabetes, IBS flare-ups in and out the hospital in the last three days, and I've had several panic attacks on top of all of this. It is my son's birthday this weekend. I have exams the following weekend. I'm still into a new place, and I have no funding I have no funding for the entire summer. I am asking that those of you who love me to send me prayers and good energy. I deserve peace and relief. We all do. May Allah protect me from those who would like to harm me. And my question is, those who say this is victim blaming, why is so many people trying to harm her? Why is there so many people? And again, I'm not saying that there can't be a situation where a woman gets attacked. Maybe even two situations where a woman gets attacked. But if you get into a situation where you are constantly attacked month after month, year after year. People out, they beating you up. Look what they did. Beat me up. Look what he did. Beat me up. Then in May, you get, what'd she say? She fell down an escalator and she got attacked and maced by men. She was just beat up by men in 2020. Now she's getting beat up by men and attacked in 2022. Then you're getting beat up and attacked by a man with a brick in 2023 child and there was so many other things that i went over in that particular video i'm gonna link that video down below because baby we went through a lot of receipts and baby i don't got all time to rehash it because we already did in my previous video all right so that was 2020 then we had all of these assaults that she says happened to her that she documented on her facebook in between and then we had the brick situation and now fast forward after the brick situation, she's coming back saying that she was attacked again, but this time it was by two black women. Happy to report like this is my first weekend out without having a panic attack, but then I got actually attacked physically. Actually. As you can see, I have a welt right here. And a little welt right here. Don't worry, those bitches cannot fight. But two black women in their 40s decided to attack me as I was leaving the establishment. I was like so happy to report like this is my first weekend out without having a panic attack. But then I got actually attacked physically. As you can see, I have a welt right here. And a little welt right here. Don't worry, those bitches cannot fight. But okay, so I posted this to my Instagram and I was telling people that Brick Mama say that she got attacked again, you know? And a lot of people of my, a lot of my night owls, they had already seen my previous video when I went through all of the other alleged attacks that she had in between that time as well. And then now we're seeing this attack here. So I had posted and I'm like, the woman who went viral saying she got hit with a brick is now back and says she was attacked again, but this time by black women. And I posted this, like I said, to my IG. Well, in the comments, there was a lot of people who start eating her up in the comments. They was chewing her up and down in the comments. And that's out of my control. Like, I cannot control what the night owls say. You know, all I could do is when they get disrespectful, check their ass back, okay? mad and she said that she want to sue me y'all 
So she went in the comments of this post that I posted about her being attacked again by these black women. And she said the following. So let me make it big for y'all to see. Let me make it a little bit bigger for y'all to see. So she's up at the top right here. Um, She's at the top, the very top row reports. And she said, you are wrong for this. And I hope you know that I will be taking legal action against you. Thanks. So I wrote and I said, because uh, mind you, at this time when I was responding to her, for some reason, uh, Instagram was not allowing me to write from my Nika Knight page. They had blocked me for 24 hours from commenting because I probably checked the night out or cut somebody out. And they said, girl, we taking your keyboard away for 24 hours. So I had to log into my personal IG account and write her back. So I wrote her and I said, um... This is Nika at night. For some reason, it won't let me reply back to you under my blog account. However, comma, which I spelled comma wrong, which I'll get the point. However, comma, wrong for what exactly? Is this not you? Are these not your words? And then I put, y'all love to throw legal this and that around. What action, Buki? Are you misrepresented? Are your words altered? Let me know something. This Is this an AI version of you? Did you not get attacked by two black women? Like, let me know something. And then at first it said that, like, it didn't um, post my thing. So I kept reposting until that last comment got posted. Okay. And so I was basically just trying to ask her, like, what are we suing about? Like, what what, what I do? Like, I posted what you said. You said you got attacked again and again and again. And I just posted what you said so what's up so after this she blocks me and then she goes on her page and one of the night owls caught it and sent it to me okay she went on her page she took a screenshot of my instagram and she put at neek at night do me a favor community and report this pick misha the post about me and her whole irresponsible page. Thanks. Also, collect any prior. I'm taking legal actions on her, too. She made the list. And so to the left is what I said. I said, false report on my page is a legal bookie. Because what is your valid claim? Like, what are you suing about? Like, you're suing because people ate you up in the comments? Like, what? Like, you said you got assaulted. You made yourself news. This is a viral story. This is a news story that made it to the Channel 5 local news. And I'm reporting on news and your news. And this is news that the woman who was assaulted has gotten assaulted again. So, like, what are we talking about here? I don't know. I was, like, so happy to report, like, this is my first weekend out without having a panic attack. But then I got actually attacked physically as you can see i have a welt right here and a little welt right here don't worry those bitches cannot fight but two black women in their 40s decided to attack me as i was leaving the establishment A few moments later. Two black women. Child, y'all let me know what y'all think about it because I cannot even <laughs> wrap my mind around it. I was just like, what? And this happened a little while ago, but I'm like, you know what? There's so many stories and topics that I have not made a YouTube video about. And this is one of them. So I'm going to keep on reporting on the goings-ons that's goings-ons. And y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Okay? Peace.